There was celebration on Tuesday morning at the Cultural Center by the newly elected, elected NDP representatives and their supporters, some who had stayed the entire night as the final count for the 2011 general election was announced by Supervisor of Elections Juliet Penn. JTV News' Walter Barrett spoke with the winning NDP team about what's first on their agenda. When the final tallies were officially announced on Tuesday, November 8th by Supervisor of Elections Juliet Penn, shouts of jubilation filled the Cultural Center as NDP supporters viewed the names and numbers projected on the front wall. While Penn read the tallies, the crowd shouted with each name, even for those NDP candidates who were unsuccessful at the polls. JTV caught up with members of the newly elected government to hear how they felt about the victory. Uh, we believe that people uh, in a democracy like this was, were able to go out and express their, their views by going to the polls and voting. Uh, we believe we had some very strong, hard leaders in the, in the 6th District. Uh, Honorable Omar Hodge has served the country well for a long time. He's done a lot of things for the country. Um, he has been the people's man, as he always calls himself. And uh, however, for all of us, time comes and the people spoke. I feel great. I, I'm excited. I know a lot of people are excited that we, we have this victory. It's really a victory for the faith. It's a victory for the people of the faith, all of them, um, from one end of the district to the other. I think it's, it's a, it's a well-fought victory. And um, we, we're feeling good. You know, we feel that we have enough uh, winners and those who didn't win to support us to help the people of this country. The people of the BVI have decided to give me a chance to serve them and I would like to be able to begin working on behalf of them immediately. We also heard what they believed would be the first issues they would have to tackle as they take up office. I, I don't know that there's any one thing more than, than another that, that is that important. I think the challenges that face the country are, are, are great at this point in time and, and we have to begin with trying to ensure that people understand that the election is over and it's, it's now time to start looking forward and we don't have time to, you know, for a honeymoon. We really need to get down to, to some serious business right away. Well, the first thing we have to do is, is, to, is to get the economy back on track. Um, that's the first thing. See what the state of the affairs of the, the, the finances are like and, uh, and work from there. The quickest way obviously to get the, the economy back on track is tourism. So we're going to start to work on that. The first thing we have to talk is you have to get some money into the country. And so you got to repair the economy. And that means concentrating, putting, putting a lot of attention in tourism. You know, I think we said before that financial services are doing fairly well. Tourism, we are really falling back. So we got to put all the energies into building the tourism back so we can be at number one place that people want to visit again in the Caribbean. But once you do that, and we can get more money coming to the treasury. Then we can start doing the other things. For example, we can start repairing our road the infrastructure. And most important, I mean, we fix that sewage problem. On the night of the elections, just after the NDP secured five of the nine districts, JTV spoke with Calvin Malone about what he thought may have been the one thing that dashed the VIP's hopes of winning this year. According to Malone, no one thing can be highlighted. And he said several issues were brought to the table, such as the Bywater contract. And he said the NDP must be congratulated for the campaign they ran. I don't know if you can attribute it to any one item. The fact is, is that um, first world nations, the, the actual economies of first world nations are crumbling as we speak. Um, and we're not immune from the effects of it. They have a number of issues that were brought to the table. Uh, whether it's prioritization of projects, whether it was should have been done now, not done. Um, you know, your favorite topic, uh, by water, uh, came to the table, and there were a number of other issues that came to the table. So at the end of the day, um, uh, it was a well-presented case by the NDP, and, um, and the voters participated in the way that they were asked to. At the Cultural Center on Tuesday morning, the new premier made his first promise to the people of the BVI, a promise that they will be a part of the decision making and that his government will report to the people at least twice annually to hear from them before moving forward. A promise he reiterated on Wednesday as he and his ministers were sworn in. This is Walter Barrett for JTV News.